Hello everyone, and welcome back to Azure Streaming here, and Funge pretty much straight off the last episode, and we are funding the vineyard growth. Plan for today is purchase fields 14, no 13 up here, that's going to be 142 grand, this will be our vineyard. Actually, you know that that be our olive grove, and down here, this would be our grape vineyard. So, I think was it field two or field one? Did I say? Yeah, field two because it's two hectares. But obviously, overall, I will cost I think around half a mil. We did also talk about buying field nineteen. Have that as a sort of placeable greenhouse area, other bits and bobs, and a little grassland area. So overall, that's 336 grand there. However, I think for now we can prioritise on the vineyards. We will require a loan. I'm pretty sure. Interesting how much money we can get from this, anyways, with the planks, furniture, eggs, and even little bits like the liquid fertilizer we're going to sell. Most of these we sell at the land handle sell point. But things like the lime, seeds and planks, they have to be sell at the sell everything container. So that's gonna be a little trek, but I want to just like that. Yeah, so we are going to very excited today. We'll keep our times two for now. You know, we'll slow time down to 0.5 for now, just to because we need to get the grapes in. Oops, rush the side over. Grapes need to be planted today. This is the last day for grapes to be able to harvest them in a super narrow window in like September, October, I think. Yep, September and October. And then also we'll try and get the olives in today. And again, I'm just hoping we can harvest all this this year. Oh, come on. Don't stop. Oh, causing a bit of traffic jam. Ah, we're seriously. The fact we're struggling is interesting. But a lot of this just because of the planks and the line. The planks itself is 17.5 tons we're pulling. Not including everything else. Come on, we're leveling off. I believe in you. But man, the expenses have been proper worked in that. I should have our beacons on. Yeah. And these sites are super bright, so. Let's see how much money we can make here. Because I am curious. I'm just taking it steady. I do not want to tip this over right now. Oh, frosty seat pallet. No worries, we'll grab the John Deere now and pick you up. Not all this is trapped down us thing as well. Just being cautious about. So yeah, we're at 113 grand. Let's see how much money we can make now. So yeah, 113. Oh. Planks ain't accepted. So 113. Freaking rates dropping a bit. Little sun. 
118 grand plus an extra 10 grand on top, so that's 129 grand we got. So yeah, still got 17,500 euros of planks, 5,000 euros of line, 2,000 euros of fertilizer, and 800 euros of a liquid fertilizer. Try to get you on, so bear with me a sec. Lift you up. Nope, can't lift you up, so bear with me a sec whilst I get this on. We grabbed a John Deere, also, we grabbed two more big bags of lime and some pallets. Also, Mike went up by 50 grand because we accidentally found a collectible around by here by the bins, so that is how many collectibles we found. Six out of the twelve, we will pace ourselves. That was purely by accident, but we'll use that 50 grand to fund the vineyards. So we'll get another grand or so, a couple of grand for the strawberries and tomatoes. There we go, that's a little bit. And it's gone. So next sure, year, yeah, two crowns, so not too bad. We won't get much for the lime because they're only selling about 400 or so pounds per thousand a year, so is it worth taking the trek? Of course it is. Every little helps. Every little penny will be spent today. Strap all this down, and now we'll grab the seeds. We'll put you on the bed. There we go, just move you over like so. We'll leave the John Deere here for now, and now let's go and get. Soul. So we'll do a quick time lapse of us driving over. So we need to go down, right, and just follow this road down. More or less. Maybe a bit of off roading, I think, but yeah, so we'll take this over and see how much money we can get. <laughs> So we were at 294. See how much we can get. Oh, look at that. So in total, that is another 55. 60 grand and what we'll do is we'll dump you off dump the weight off just hit <laughs> yes to see the lime just empty that's another 700 
And now the IBC tank. That should sell here. But why aren't you selling? Have a look here, um, stop checking, pretty sure it took. So yeah, why aren't you selling then? Absolutely no idea why. Oh, I wanted a, was it, gonna be an extra grand or so? Swing in then. Nope, absolutely but kiss luck. No dear white. Oh, it's a shame. That is a darn shame. Shame, a shame. <laughs> Well, on to try go then. But yeah, anyway, so we're at 355 grand. Nope, letting it happen. One, don't tip over. Whoa. There we go, that's all good. So, yeah. There we go. Get you all strapped down. And we'll hop into our little scrambler here. And now let's go and drive to our soon to be new field. Go a bit off roading. Avoiding all the trees somehow. <laughs> That's a first. But yeah, I am really excited of how this is gonna go. With the new venture and that. Actually we turn traffic back on because we had a little hiccup. on the way down, hence why we swapped from the TLX to the John Deere in that time lapse there of just taking it over. But yeah, first person is weird, is this? Little Scrambler do 65, not too bad. My bike can do 150, but... Oh, hey, oof. Actually, no, we need to go this way, so... <laughs> yeah. me Sorry! And here we are. Last thing, oh, sorghum's in here. Last thing, do we want to... What crops is in the other field? So if we go to here, so you've got sorghum in there. And we've got sunflower. That's two perfectly good crops. But yeah, do we want to or do we not to? Yeah, we'll we'll have to plow it out, I think. There we go. How about you? That is a lot of money spent. Plus, I actually may not even take a loan out, perhaps. But yeah, what I need to do now is get this all ploughed up, I think. Does it need ploughing? We have a little look. And the answer is no, it does not. Nordos Field 2. 
So should be all good just with the cultivation. So yep, yeah, let's go and grab a cultivator and let's start doing some work here, I think. So alright, got the cultivation done and yeah. Here we are, and just thinking about the textures and that. I'm thinking what we have to do first of all is paint it, then go ahead and place it perhaps. So if we go to paint. Oh, what can see this going? Expensive very quickly. Yeah, I can see this getting quite expensive. Actually, do we even need to put these down? Could we just go... Let's see what we can do. So we go to... Yeah, we can get away with it. So actually, don't... actually no, we don't really need to paint it. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna get rid of it, so Yep, yeah, let's forget about that. So we've got the worker down field two. So we'll start say here. I think it's colliding with this scrambler. We'll move you out of the way. Yeah, a bit of waste of money there, waste a couple of grand there, but... Let's move myself out of the way. And now let's try this again. So I want near. was going to be pretty expensive but it could be a lot worse it could have been a lot worse we're still going oh boy um go. Oh, yeah, I can see this getting rather expensive. It's going to be a slight bit of an angle just by how the first one went down. Oh boy, we're going to have a lot of olives. <laughs> That's two... Keep on going. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> That's what you're going to have to feel so. We're going to get a bug loads from this. All said and done, once we've actually gone in. Oh no, maintenance is going to be an absolute pain in the arse, but <laughs> when to put the work in. So yeah, I think the best way to get this done is in a little quick time lapse. So yeah, we will get this done, we'll get the vineyard placed, and then we'll assess where we go from here, I think. <laughs> So we'll go and put you down. <coughs> I was thinking we're spending eight grand per one. We've got a few more, so I think we're going to need that loan. 
let's say, I don't know, 150. Let's take out a quarter of a million. Quarter of a mil. There we go. So, yeah, I will continue on with this. And I'll see if folks once we're done here. And we're not if to regret this, we'll fucking die out very soon. Planted our vineyards, olive groves, and all that, and I am amazed how this has turned out. So, if you look at our finances, 260 grand for the purchase of the properties, then an additional 228 for the construction of these vineyards, putting the vines in, and all that. So, that is 488.5. So yeah, pretty much more or less half a mil. Ah uh, yeah, done quite well. Bit of an issue over here. Initially I thought just stick with the fields, but then I thought, oh, let's go up here. But then I was having issues of getting it put down. So you do have these two odd bits here standing out, but apart from that, our vineyards looking actually very, very good. And how about our olive growth? We had to use the tricks to get rid of some trees. And oh boy. <laughs> this could be a pain to harvest, especially where we're gonna have to empty halfway through potentially. But that's gonna be a problem I have to deal with as and when it arrives, but I am super excited about this. And uh, if we have a look at the ground. Ah, bummer. I uh, forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about the pH. I forgot to put the line down. Let's go to the scrambler a sec. Oh no, that's going to affect our environmental score in that. Is there even a small lime spreader that could fit between these? Oh. That 
actually, bear with me a sec. Let me get the Joskin and see if I can fit through here. My answer is going to be a big fat no, but you never know. And here we are, we've got a lone spreader and we've bought a tractor that can work in the vineyards because I don't think the well, case may just fit down but again that would be a major if in that. So we've increased the loan to 400 grand. We bought one tractor initially, realised it wasn't good for us so we sent it back. Fortunately we lost about 13, 10 or 13 grand on that so Yes, we could recuperate that, but I'm not too worried at this time. So we've gone in the Stibredal F2WS4000, and I'm just got a little wait, just so that you can keep the back end under the front end down, shall I say. So I'm thinking if we go... Struggling to stop. It should just fit. It looks like it will. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but... Okay, let's get right in the middle. And there we go. We are liming. A bit of an issue of it catching but it's gonna need quite a bit of limes who so... but yeah it's working well and we're out <laughs> how much was that eh. so we need to do two passes at least now we're going to need another... what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight more loads, so... And that's going to be... Oof. And now I was trying to get his out because it's on the slope in that, it's catching. I think the best we can do is just get a... If we just say we borrow this... We'll pay a fee, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we'll pay about, I don't know, about 750 quid or so. And we want big bags. Let's see if we can lift these up. Yeah, not an issue of lifting. Try to get somewhere in the middle. Well, it looks like three is going to be my limit, so. Yeah, if we'll try to get four, just going to get it done. Sure, wait a minute, how much is in that one there? Um, oh, 2,000 liters. Ah, yeah, I tried to do it with 4,000 liters and it'll sort of start to have in. It'll start to sort of tip backwards a bit, so yeah. It's going to be interesting, but yeah, overall, I am very excited. I am truly excited and. It's gonna be a yeah, it's gonna be a huge effort in that. We've leased as well a mulcher, 2.7 meters. I just wanted to test it before I commit to buy it. Because we need the mulcher now. 
Fertilizing is fine, it's got enough there right so it doesn't need any more so I don't have to worry about fertilizing it. But yeah, really it's just a light man. I'm sure we got it done before this. Because it's just extra work in that and yeah. But it is what it is in that at the end of the day, so Cross our field here, take a bit of a little shortcut. And yes, so it'd be interesting to see. Actually, could, it, could even this fit down the vineyards? Well, that's going to be a whole different problem. So, the tractor's down there. I don't think we're going to fit. Oh, we just about fit. Oh, especially into our olive growth already. Come on, a bit more. So we'll go and put you down. Nope, come on, jump over, jump. Oh, come on. Surely we could have just climbed through. If we hop into you. This is so janky. You know what? We'll just do it this way. One bag at a time. And we are liming once more, so yeah, that's the thing where we're gonna leave it today. If I stop trying to smash up my vineyard. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, just wants to go over to the right. I don't know why if it's me with the steering. Yeah, it's just like sensitive steering is this. And we are out again. Oh, this is gonna, be, this is gonna take some time. Perhaps first person's best, perhaps. There we go. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.